going on escape artists back out in the woods and this time we're not leaving at the end of the day we are actually doing the uh, shakedown portion of the hike so or the uh, train up this is just so make sure pretty much all the gear works the only thing that I don't have is my tent and I mentioned that in my previous video uh, so we're just using the cheap Coleman one that I have from Walmart but yeah tents a tent they all pretty much set up the same uh, well, if you're used to camping anyway, you know how to set up tents. But, uh, yeah, got uh, Jared with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm fully loaded up this time. Uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing the uh, black fleece anymore. I'm actually wearing my frog tog uh, rain cover, or rain poncho coat, poncho, whatever you want to call it. That's just as a uh, windbreak, and then I just have my t-shirts on underneath because I'm already warm. But uh, I'm going to keep walking, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Look where we are again. Yep. Same crazy building. This time we actually have hiking gear with us instead of old army packs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's a... Uh, a little bit of runoff happening on the trail today. It's quite wet in the past few days in this area. All right, guys. Um, if I didn't say it before, we're at Raccoon State Park, and we're, we've done most of the uh, loop that we did before, part of it anyway. But down there by that little bridge is uh, where I tested the Sawyer out in that video. But uh, instead of going down there on that trail, we are actually going to continue up that way and go about probably four more miles or so we should be at the shelter but that's what the lady said but when I tried to do the math it's probably a little bit longer so we'll see what the uh, what the spot says on how far we travel so see you guys in a bit been a little windy this winter looks like we have some fresh blow down to climb across Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of fun. What's gonna be even more fun is uh, a little bit before the last segment, we were walking through an area that's basically runoff and uh, my feet are soaked. So, they're warm. I mean, they're nice and warm because of the socks, but yeah, they're wet. My turn. Hey guys, so we're taking a little break. We had to stop and grab some water. We have, to, we both have to uh, grab each other's water and give them to them because I can't like do the whole reach back thing to grab it. It just doesn't work. Uh, but I realized something between the last clip and this one. I have a portable battery to charge my phone with but I forgot to grab the cables to plug in with. So, uh, this overall video will be shorter than before, or than I planned on, because I'll have to uh, take shorter clips and keep my phone in power save mode. And uh, I'll have to shut my phone off at night to make sure that, that we still have something for tomorrow morning. So, we're going to get back to walking and uh, probably grab some lunch here in about an hour. <laughs> Alright guys, how's it going people? So we're about halfway, we actually just stopped and uh, grabbed something to munch on, so it's pretty nice. Uh, you see right now I'm just wearing a long sleeve shirt, I got a t-shirt on underneath it. Um, it's okay, it's like 40 degrees right now, so when you're moving this is actually nice and cool, and then with the buff on the head it works out just fine. When stopping, putting on that Frog Togs uh, rain jacket as a windbreaker, it's surprisingly warm. So I imagine tonight at camp that uh, rain jacket with the puffy I got uh, be nice and toasty. Um, at this point, it looks like we're going to be at camp actually really early. Uh, we might be there at like 2 or 3 o'clock and it doesn't get dark till about 6.30. So... Uh, 
plenty of time to scrounge up and get a nice little fire going. So that'll be that'll be kind of awesome, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Tell them about a fire. Yep. Just kicking back, relaxing, mm. drinking some strong beverage that may or may not be allowed in a state park. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Might just drink water, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, back to it. And uh, it's actually turned out to be a quite nice day, too, which which really helps. Um, chilly, but it's not so chilly when you're not sitting still. Well, the past maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes have been completely fun. We had no choice but to walk straight through that little river. And... Uh, both of us forgot to bring sandals or camp shoes or whatever, so our feet are just completely soaked. And, uh, yeah, I just forgot. Well, I actually couldn't find Crocs yet, because that's what I was planning on getting, so um, I have to order them, because I just can't find them locally for some reason. So, <laughs> yeah, but we're still kind of on target to get to camp kind of early, so... Maybe just sitting around a little fire and warming up our feet by it will be nice. So, yeah. Onward. So I'm fairly certain that we uh, just had a little preview of what Maine is like. Yeah, what do you think, Jared? <laughs> it's, we're still walking along that one, uh, that one creek. And it's been probably about 45 minutes. And we're just crossing it back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And I've probably had to walk into it probably three or four times now. My feet are freezing. Don't worry though guys, because when we get to uh, camp, even though I don't have camp shoes, I do have a plan uh, to dry off my feet and make sure that they're good to go. So, um... They will be dry. I do have an extra pair of socks that I will put on when we get to camp. And they'll be nice and dry, so... Yeah. And for those of you that might be concerned about me just wearing just this long sleeve shirt, when we're on a nice, say, like a section like that where it's nice and dry and I'm not holding my phone, uh, I can actually get into a good rhythm and I get hot fast, so... Um, having breathable shirts on and nothing else is actually perfect so yes meanwhile Jared's still back here rocking the hoodie Shit. probably sweating his ass <laughs> off <laughs> yeah oh it looks like we have to cross yet again this one isn't nearly so bad but, you know, got no choice, just walk right through it. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Didn't mean for it to cut off like that, but yes. Fun, and my feet are wet again. But now we got a hill, so uh, I'm gonna start walking up it without holding my phone. Crazy Pittsburgh weather we've had lately. Got uh, flowers blooming, but sadly they look like they're not gonna make it. But there is quite a few of these already blooming down here. A few more down there too. We're about a mile from the camp. So, yeah. <laughs> we made really good time. I thought it was going to take us an extra three hours, but a lot faster than, than uh, planned. So, that definitely helps. Get some nice chill time. Hopefully if the wind dies down, the fire will be nice. If not, then uh, just chill in the tent and go to sleep. Sweet. One mile. Alright guys, we are at camp. It is actually over there. My little Coleman thing. It's going on a wood hunt. Apparently it's supposed to like really snow tonight, so... This will be... It'll be nice and chilly. But uh, it looks like we're the only ones here. Um, I do not see anybody else. There's no 
no shelters reserved, um, which I'm actually walking over to one right now. Say hello, shelter. Uh, yeah, it's going on a wood hunt. Looks like we have a nice little pile right there that we can use. I mean, nobody else is here, so, you know. Um, yeah, my feet are still cold, but what I'm going to do, the uh, the picnic table is right beside the fire ring. So what I'm going to do is once the fire is going nice and, and decent and we're getting close to when we're going to go to bed, I'll switch to my sleeping gear and put dry clothes on and uh, take my bag that I use to keep everything dry and uh, put some dry socks on. Well, actually, I'll walk out in my wet socks or wet uh, shoes over to the fire, take them off, dry my feet off, put put some decently warm or the the dry socks on, and uh, and just sit by the fire. But I'll use my my bag as a place to put my feet into, so that way they don't get wet again. So that should help quite a bit. But uh, we need some of this wood so we can get a nice little fire going. So I'm gonna walk it all over there later. We picked a beautiful day to come out here. Holy monkey. <laughs> it is uh, pretty white. Oh, now the part we're dreading. Getting out of the sleeping bag in 24 degree weather. Ugh. Nice and toasty in, in my sleeping bag. He was well off in his, but his zipper broke, and I got a chuckle out of it. <laughs> uh, good thing is the walk back to the car isn't very long, uh, considering my shoes are still soaked, and they're basically frozen right now, so um, I'll be putting dry socks on anyway to try to mitigate it a little bit, but it's a short walk back to the car, and then... Uh, I got my uh, normal daily pair of shoes back in the car with some other socks so that way I'm not wearing those all the way home but uh, time for the fun to begin well, we kind of left a uh, dent the campsite looks kind of pretty without anybody here and just a little snowy. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. All right, we're walking again. Taking a second for uh, my my uh, body to be like, oh wait, we're we're moving. Yeah. But starting to warm up. Jared, how you feeling? Getting there. Yeah. It was a chilly night last night, but gotta say that uh, REI Ignio keeps me, kept me nice and warm even down to 24 degrees when it's rated to 30, so that's good. We're both pretty much wearing everything to stay warm with right now. The walk is so short, even if we just kind of mosey along, it'll be not too bad, but yeah. <laughs> I finish up the uh, last couple miles here. A little bit windy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, probably still about a mile and a half or so from the car. But we're on Forest Trail, which is the last trail. Um, we follow that past the other backpacking site that we stopped at in uh, the video from the last time both of us were here, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's cold and windy but keep moving you stay nice and toasty uh, my feet are warm they're wet but they're warm I gotta say darn tough with the Fox River linings is an absolute perfect fit to keep your feet warm when they're wet you keep moving the blood will start pumping your feet will heat right up so I definitely recommend those for people who are still looking into getting their gear for a future through hike that isn't this year. Or if you're just doing some general backpacking. 
so <laughs> yes definitely 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 get those keep your feet nice and warm all right we are back to where we were before uh that trail right behind me is uh where we went and ate in the last video probably put a little bit like a little insert thing there to show but yeah that's where we were and uh we came from over there and we had to take advantage of that little bench back there just a nice little break but we got three quarters of a mile but it's all downhill and we're back at the car the uh the bummer about it though is that it's like right at that stage where snow is melting and running off and making the trail just a muddy mess which has been the problem pretty much the entire time so we're expecting to slow down just a little bit because of that but it'll be nice uh getting back in that nice car and all heated up i don't mind the cold weather trips um next time though um if we do cold weather short trips like this then a couple extra pounds of stuff to keep warm with will be okay. But since this is an AT shakedown, then only what's coming with me on the AT is with me, except for that tent that I mentioned in my previous video. So, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get back to uh, warming up and getting into the car. So, probably see you at the car. Well, we're back in the car finally. And we've already been at the car for probably, what, like 20, 30 minutes? <laughs> mm. Letting it warm up while we were uh, swapping to clothes that aren't muddy because, you know, I still need to keep my car nice and clean. So, yeah. Oh, that last section uh, where we've done before in the previous video, it actually wasn't that bad at all. It was pretty dry and not muddy and mm. but some other sections... Uh, if you ever come out to Raccoon State Park after it rains, do not expect to keep dry feet. You will get wet. Um, if you come maybe a few days after, the rivers will be low enough that you can just step on some stones. But it rained pretty hard on uh, on Wednesday, and all of the creeks were high enough that the stepping stones were completely covered by an inch or two more of of water my uh, shoes were completely frozen when i woke up this morning they were hard as a rock and uh, getting into them was kind of a chore but after i got up and moving and and uh we started hiking my feet were just fine so but uh yes the uh the shakedown hike was successful it was cold warm in the sleeping bag but cold mm. otherwise yeah <laughs> Yeah, except for his sleeping bag. His sleeping bag, the zipper screwed up. Mm. <laughs> so he's got to deal with that. But uh, for those of you still gear shopping, the REI Igneo is definitely good. It was, I, it was down to 24 degrees last night and it was nice and warm. Uh, the sleeping mat I'm using is the uh, um, Thermarest Neo X Airlight, I think is the name. I never remember the name. Uh the next video will be a what's in my pack video, so uh, everything else went went smoothly. So uh, until then, we'll actually uh, we'll hit the road. It's snowing off and on again, so just in case the roads out here get kind of crappy, I want to get moving. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, escape the office and get outside.